How you doing folks? Ronnie here from Southern Food Junkie. Today we're going to show you how we're going to make some uh, waffles here. Got our waffle iron preheating here. We're going to use this uh, Kodiak Cakes baking mix we picked up at Big Lots uh, a few weeks ago. We're going to try it out. We're going to show you how to make some waffles with it. So y'all stay tuned. Okay, let's get food junk. So we're just using this uh, Oster um, waffle iron here. Just a standard one here. It's got non-stick surface. I am going to brush a little bit of butter in here to get started. And uh, right now we have it preheating, waiting for it to get ready. And I have it almost it's on about medium heat there. Let's get our recipe for the uh, flapjacks, pancakes, and waffles. One cup of bacon mix, one egg, and one cup of milk. We're going to double this recipe, so we're going to use two, two, and two. And uh, it says to heat it on medium high, 375. Cook until bubbles form, that's, that's for pancakes. Um, on our waffle iron here, we're just gonna wait until we quit seeing steam come out from the side, and that's about the time you want to open it up. So let's get our mix together. All right, as stated before, we're doubling our recipe here, so we're gonna start with two cups of milk. I'm gonna pour the wet ingredients in first so the uh, dry ingredients don't stick on the bottom. We need two eggs. Uh, Kodiak cakes, uh, so special is it uses whole grain. So it's got whole grain wheat flour, wheat protein isolate, which is basically like a protein powder like people just working out would use. So these these have a good bit of protein in them, 12 grams of protein um, for a half a cup of the mix. See how it has a little bit of a darker texture to it. This will give it a little bit more of a, of a nutty, earthy flavor. Should be real good though. Better for you than just a normal pancake mix. Alright, we got our two cups in there, two eggs, two cups of milk. Next thing to do is to mix it up. Grab us a little whisk here. So I'm gonna add a, uh, it don't mention this in here, but I'm gonna add a tablespoon, a teaspoon of um, vanilla flavoring in mine. Just gives it a little extra dynamic. And just like anything else, if it's too thick, like this is a little bit too thick, you want to add in a little bit of uh, milk to it, if it's too thin, you add a little bit more mix. Everybody's going to be a little different depending on where you're at. Elevation can affect that, believe it or not. So let's add a little milk. That's about the consistency we want right there. We want it to pour out. You don't want to over mix your, your pancake or your bacon mix. It'll cause it to be real, real tight releases too much of the starch and uh, it won't be light and airy it'll, be, it'll make them tough so don't over mix same thing with biscuits you don't want to over knead it so uh, let's get these poured in the in the uh waffle iron we we'll gonna brush a little bit of butter in here and we're just gonna pour our batter right in the middle Remember this will expand. It's good to have you a little towel laid down. So you can put one up under there. It's a step I always forget. There we go. Put your towel up under there because this is going to ooze out. You can see the steam coming out of it. Like I was saying before, once the steam stops, that's when you want to start checking on it. The steam is still coming up, but it's not quite as much as it was before. Let's lift it up and see what it looks like. Oh man, oh yeah. That's what we're looking for right there. We'll know next time to add a little bit more batter, so we'll get a little bit fuller uh, waffle. 
Another thing you can to note is you can add stuff into your mix, uh, chocolate chips or nuts if you rather have those. Um, I'm gonna add a few walnuts in here near the end because some of the kids don't like walnuts as much. One thing I like to use to get these out with is a fork. Just grab it near the end and pick up. It'll come right out just like that. I'm gonna do one more for you. Still got some of that butter left in there, so I'm not going to put it in there a second time. Just like that. <clears throat> Here you can see it's oozing out the sides there, like I was mentioning before. So uh, it, it kind of can be kind of messy, but um, you need to have enough in it to make it fill up. But the mix smells so good. It's got such a earthy... Uh, nutty smell to it so I believe they're gonna be really delicious all right this is waffle number two Alright guys, let's try this delicious looking waffle, see what it tastes like with this new Kodiak bake mix that we bought. Put a little syrup on it. We don't need much because we have those delicious looking strawberries on it. Mm. Alright, let's get in here and see what we got. Mmm. Mmm. It's really good. Really good. Let's try a little bit of that waffle without any of the uh, strawberries on it so we can just get the flavor of it. I like that. It's got a real good, like I said, earthy, nutty flavor to it. I think you'd like it too. And, and like I said, this mix is supposed to be better for you. It has uh, whole grain weed in it. I think it's unbleached wheat. And um, it has a little bit of uh, whey protein isolate in it. Um, so I think you'd like it. I appreciate y'all sticking around and watching this. And uh, we'll see y'all next time. Don't forget, guys, let's get food jumped.